So I'm preparing all my ingredients. Um, if you ever worked in a care home, you must have been exposed to a lot of foreign food. And as an adventurous immigrant, if I work in a care home and they offer me food, maybe during lunch or dinner, I taste their food only. I test all the food. I try all the food. I know some people would never, they would be like, no, I can never eat their food. <laughs> but me, I'm very adventurous when it comes to food. I can try any food as long as it's not poisonous. So I have, um, I've tried this food and I really love it. And I have decided that these days I'm going to be trying Oibo food in my house because it's not every time rice, rice, rice and swallow and jam because Oibo food seems cheaper if you think about it it's cheaper but it's not very easy to make however it's not impossible to make so I'm prepping my veggies and let's see what I'm trying to make people say that their colleagues are not their friends but in real fact they don't know what to say to their colleagues. They don't know how to start a conversation with their colleagues. And that's why they end up saying, well, their colleagues are not their friends. For me, when I work with colleagues from, you know, other tribe or other culture, like diverse culture, one thing I like to talk to them about, I like to engage them about food. Why? Because I'm a bit adventurous when it comes to food i've tasted since i moved to the uk i've tasted lots of food this one i'm cooking is one of those food i have tasted and i have come to like uh that's why i am preparing it now i have decided to prepare it on my own i went to watch the recipe how to cook it online and some of us i understand i've worked with some people night shifts they brought eba. Somebody brought jollof rice. Wait, did you not eat supper at home? Oh, are you breastfeeding? You come for night shift and then you brought eba. You are eating eba at 2 a.m. Eating jollof rice at 3 a.m. It's somehow. It is really somehow. Let's call a spade a spade. What do I gain if I don't have a banana pepper? Got to do it. This one. Again. Okay. Let's get fry everything. I want to go in with my carrot and all of this. I think this is our potato, so I'm going to add some butter. I'm going to sprinkle some salt because I haven't added salt. I'll sprinkle some salt. So I may want to go in with some cinnamon. I'm also going to add egg yolk, just the yolk. And lastly, I'm going to add some milk. This is milk. If I need more, I'll be adding. And next, I want to mash. I want to mash all of this together. This is what is called mashed potato. So I have to mash everything together. So while this is frying, <coughs> you might want to put a little bit of sprinkle some salt and seasoning not too much and you get to see why i said not too much some seasoning cube i'm not using one it's just about half a cube of seasoning cube that i'm adding depending on the quantity of veggies that you are stir frying so keep stir frying at this point you can taste your mash if the salt is okay 
you are using salted butter be mindful of the quantity of salt you will add so you can test it to see if you need to add more salt or not so now our mash is ready I want to introduce my mayonnaise I want to introduce my mayonnaise and because it's just from the freezer still frozen nonetheless after now this is my chicken broth I want to introduce my chicken broth to cook the minced meat so I'm going to introduce the chicken broth and also I want to introduce my thickener this is my thickener I don't have a thickener but she be cornstarch is thickener so this is my pap this is a cam. I'm using that as my thickener. And at this point, if you have any condiments you want to add, I want to put some cinnamon in there. Just a little bit. Nothing too serious. So I'll just allow everything to cook. I'll add a little more salt. This recipe, this food is really, really sweet. Very tasty. But you don't need to add so many seasoning cubes. That's why I like this food. And it will still come out really nice. See? Not so dramatic. Let me taste it again. Oh. I forgot to add tomato puree. But it's never too late. It's not too late. I'll just add a little bit. I nearly forgot you had a bit of tomato puree I think it's just to thicken it and to give it a pop of color so it's never too late right it's okay I think this is all right did you spot the difference from where there was no tomato so it looks more like soup now. Have a taste for the last time. That's good. So next, I'm going to transfer everything. Everything, I mean everything. I want to make some wraps for myself. Can you see this? So you can choose to wrap it up. Can just wrap it up if you want and breakfast is ready this is the main cocoa of the matter so uh, this is what I'm making I am making shepherd's pie they call this shepherd's pie and as you can see this sauce looks like meat pie sauce right so this is shepherd's pie it's not that easy to make so this is cheese that I want to go in with another layer of my base. See my sauce now. I want to go another layer of my sauce. I'm doing all this. I'm ready prepping my popcorn because that's what I'm going to do again. So that's it, and I'll go next with my my potato mashed potato. That will form the top layer so i see this as instead of using flour 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 we're using potato so this comes on top and hopefully my kids eat it because anything that has to do with veggies they don't want i'm the only one who's adventurous with food Every other person. You don't want to try new things. I'm going to just... You know how we do our meat pie now. You give your meat pie try bar max. That's what I'm doing here. I'm giving this, my pie, some max. Some try bar max. <laughs> and then, I'm going to cook it for 30 to 40 minutes. I'm taking this into the oven. I 
and we want to cover it so that is it i'm going in with this i'm going to cook it for 180 degrees for 40 minutes I beg, at this point, I have exhausted my patience. I mean, I'm going to bring this in out if he refuses to turn brown. <laughs> this is not the shepherd's pie I wanted to cook. So I told my children that I have a surprise for them. And I'm going to offer them shepherd's pie. Let me see their reaction. They have never tasted it before. So, I prefer now to cut this. You have to like it. Valerie, come! Guys, those of you, come here! The moment I cook this, I just knew I was going to eat it alone. What? At least try it. Hmm? I don't like veggies. Taste it, my love. I'm just going to taste it. Mm -hmm. uh. How is it? This meat. Yummy. Wow, I'm so impressed. Will you will you call Valerie's come and taste it? It tastes like pie. Yes, it tastes like pie. You're kind of right. This is not that bad. It's not. It's hoodie, it's like pie. It's so yummy. Mm -hmm. I did the first time and I thought it was like Mom, yeah, but good. Mom, it was good. Mom, mm -hmm. Look at the food. Look at the food. It's called Shepherd's Pie. So it's called Shepherd's Pie. Yeah, you can make it with carrots. What else is it? 